Hey, what is up, everybody? It is Matthew with Mikey Designs. <laughs> Matt with Mikey Designs here. Rick is Matthew. <laughs> Your mom. Uh, and, what? <laughs> and then Shannon, the uh, Shannon, the shop gnome. Yo. Shanny, Shannon, Shannon. Son over there. Anyhow, uh, Shannon's looking at me like I'm an idiot, so we're just going to wait for some of you guys to, to, <laughs> to, to tune in, and we're going to talk about a few things. If the title of the live broadcast, or whatever you want to call it, our little live show. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what we're going to talk about, and then just answer some screen printing questions, and just talk about whatever's going on, see what you guys got going on in your shops, and... Uh, we'll just take it from there. But f for now, Shannon is going to keep you guys entertained while uh, I go take Why care of some business this? real quick. Why do you do this? You know, I was just on the phone with Indigenous. By the way, he's finished walking his dog and he says hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just on the phone with him for a, a hot minute and uh, I just realized that I need to pee. I mean, it's, we're going to be sitting here for an hour and I've drank about eight cups of water. So, um, Shannon, do your thing. You ready? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't exactly. All right, go pee. You know what? I'll drag the microphone with me into the bathroom. That'll be awkward. Okay. Hold on. No, uh, I'm not going to do all that, but uh, just give me. I need to uh, go powder my nose. I'll be right back. All right. So, I'm apparently supposed to just talk. I really, She's really do. the wheels. Go pee! Stop stealing my vape! What are you talking about? So I have to, I guess, come up with something off the top of my head. Um, Jason, yo! Um, well, it's our daughter's birthday this week. If anyone has any suggestions on what to get a three-year-old that doesn't involve PJ masks, I would really, really appreciate it. Right now, she's obsessed with her princess tent that my parents gave her. Um, I'm thinking like a, a one of those magnetic sketch boards where you go sh -sh 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 and it erases it. Um, hi, AKA Braun, AKA Braun. Uproar! Um, so, yeah, I guess if anyone has any suggestions on what to get a toddler that, you know, like, makes me spoil her oodles and doesn't have PJ masks. I'm so tired of PJ masks. I know every single character in PJ masks. There is Luda Girl. There is Gecko. There is Owlet. And there is Catboy. And then, like, 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 seriously, like, who comes up with these names? They're like the most least original names ever. And I get that it's for children. But seriously, Catboy. Gecko. Owlet, I do admit, is kind of cute and cl clever. And I am still babbling about that. So if you guys can give me any suggestions that do that I don't have to deal with any more PJ masks than I already do, I am willing to listen. Oh, you're stuck with PJ masks. I don't want to be stuck with PJ masks. I'm so tired of PJ masks. I want PJ masks. I want PJ masks. <laughs> well, I at least it's better than last year. She was at the age where she really didn't have any interest because she's two years old and hadn't really latched onto anything. Now she's got like a definitive like thing that she likes. I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. There's, last year, her birthday was, uh, her birthday theme was no, because her favorite, she just got really pissy and just said no. Quite and when we asked her what she wanted the theme of her birthday to be, she said no. <laughs> so we made her a shirt and everything. I was like, fine. <laughs> no, it is. So that was me, you know. Are we sure she wouldn't like saying K-N-O-W? No? Like telling us you should know? Um, fairly positive, yeah. Okay. Because the true. way she would scream at me when she would do it, like the way she would scrunch her face up. Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm just like Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Yeah, she 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 knows how to tell someone no. That's for sure. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, switch the the camera view over, and we'll get at it. 
All right. Hi to everybody I haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> Those are people waiting. Oh, yeah. <coughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome to our podcast. Stop My it. name is uh, Matthew. Stop it. And I'm a lord. Who is this? It's a 1 800 number. Decline. Decline. Decline and often. There's nothing, it's nothing like getting a bunch of calls from um, telemarketers day in and day out. We, uh, one of our clients called and it was from out of state in New York and they called and I generally answer all the calls unless it's an 800 number just in case. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm just tired of telemarketers calling and answer the phone. And I was like, Hello, instead of doing a formal, hey, this is Matt with Mikey Designs. How how can I help you type of thing? But uh, I, I felt bad because they're like, can I speak with Shannon? <laughs> Who's asking? <laughs> <laughs> Who's speaking? <laughs> and it was a, a client that actually swung a really nice order to us. So if you're watching by any chance, I'm sorry. Although, you know, he, he's from New York and, and he... He kind of seemed like he, he was having a bad day himself the other day. I mean, maybe, we all have our days. Uh, maybe you shouldn't mention that, but... Um. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he wasn't. Okay. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I don't know, though. Like, we do. We get, we get calls every single day. Most of my phone calls, I'm fielding telemarketers. And I actually dealt with one today that... First Ooh. off, he said... First, he oh, just yeah. goes, give me your email. And I went, no, I'm not going to do that. And blah, 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 I give him the spiel about why we don't want their services. And he was just like, no, 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 listen to me. No, 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 listen to me. And I was like, no, 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 no. You listen to me. <laughs> I said, take me off your list. How do we How do we block them on a landline? Oh, uh, I don't know this newfangled we, technology. We should uh, figure that out. I'm sure there's a way. So much easier on the cell phone because you can just go to go to the number and just hit block. I just sent it straight to voicemail. I'm like, hey. eventually they just get well, the idea. I, I, well, I try to turn the uh, the ringer off on the phone, but the actual stand of the phone keeps ringing. Why are you trying to turn the ringer off on the phone, woman? I'm bitch clicking it. Oh, is, is that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, but when that, I know it's a telemarketer, kind of I bitch click it. But the I thought you were just putting it no, on silent. No, the actual period. stand keeps ringing, so I'm just like sitting there staring at it, still listening to it ring. So I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, well, we can look into that, and then just block them. Although a lot of them call from what appears to be a local number, and it never is. It, it always ends up being like the same number as ours, and we we just know it's like okay, this is this is someone that's either scamming or telemarketing or whatever the case may be. Uh, one of the embroidery digitizers that we work with occasionally, we kind of swing work here and there. They call up from London, from London, England. So at least I know who he is. When he calls, I'm like, hey, what's up, Jimmy? You got any more work for us? Nah, sorry, man. Not right now. <laughs> We've been sending it to someone else. Sorry. Okay, Jason says, uh, first off, everyone in New York is having a bad day every day. Yeah, um, and yeah. Then, that, that's why I was just kind of like, oh, he, what does it, you know, what does it matter if I say anything because it's the, uh, you know, horn honking uh, spirit, I guess. Not necessarily spirit of New York, but um, the New Yorkers have a reputation for being rude. Thank you, honey. You're not from New York. My family is. Yeah. My family grew up in Brooklyn. Yeah. You see how grumpy your dad is? <laughs> He's from Houston. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> your mom's very sweet. Your dad's awesome too. I I he don't is have, grumpy though. <laughs> I don't I don't have a whole lot of experience from uh with people from New York aside from uh accents. <laughs> Jason's like, I'm not rude. <laughs> I didn't say you're rude. Okay, that was a bad generalization. Yeah, it was. That's kind of like everybody riding and horses like in should, Texas. Should, I, I'm sorry. And I feel like we shouldn't be talking about that America, because, you know, we have I a very sorry. 
very nice order from this client that I would like to, you know, continue a relationship with. I'm I'm not talking bad about him. All I said was it seemed like he had a bad day. <laughs> That's all. And I said on my part, I was like, I was irritated and was, I answered the phone poorly. Yeah, well, you're poorly. I don't know. I feel like I have like a reverse Oedipus complex because like you're like so grumpy lately. And I like, guess it's like I'm, I'm dating my dad. <laughs> oh, shut up. That's that's the stress of not only work, but some personal things that are very stressful. I mean. Who could not be stressful with you knowing the situation? I'm not. That's, that's a stressful I'm not thing. I'm not judging. I think stressful. it's perfectly. I think it's perfectly understandable. But at the same time, I get very quiet a lot lately. <laughs> yeah, but your thing is you wake up grumpy. I do. You're the grumpiest person. <laughs> Punching the dog, punching me and shit. And... I don't punch the dog. The only time I punched the dog was when he was okay, smothering you, the baby. You kicked him. I do kick him. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to get him to move. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like God. on me and I'm like hot. <laughs> the only time I've ever punched the dog was when he was smothering the baby. I was defending my child, okay? It's completely acceptable in that circumstance yeah but it's become like a regular thing he's something it's either if he touches you or something while you're sleeping it's like ow you just yell out and it's either that or you swing <laughs> it's so and i just get away i was like okay wake up please so you're not grumpy Shannon. okay so can we like Change the subject again. So we're not like talking no. about like me being an animal abuser because I feel like really terrible right now. <laughs> You're fine. I love you, Paulo. PETA approves of this message and uh, <laughs> what we do here. PETA's going to go like, no throw dogs, red paint on something of mine. No dogs were harmed unless it pees on <laughs> the floor up, or something like that. I would... As a uh, snowflake, snowflake generation would probably be like dog pees on the floor. No, 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 bad. Me, I'm just like, I'll close my eyes and <laughs> get over here. Yeah, but the dog is such a drama queen. Like, you, all you have to do is raise your arm, and he goes, <laughs> yeah. He, he's, he's a. He's tough until he knows he did something wrong. It's because he, he's had a, a spanking or two. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. He's, he's, uh, he, knows, he knows he's alpha around here. So we got a box from Rybeats. Is Rybeats he, here? And if Rybeats gets on, we're going to do the unboxing on the live, but we have yeah, to wait till Rybeats yeah. gets there. But it's really cool. Matt, show them the top. If he doesn't show up, then um, it might get lost. <laughs> here we go. Hold on. Let me switch the uh, the camera view. No, we really do appreciate this Rybeats. I wasn't expecting this, and uh, it's very kind of you. But here it is. So this is some of uh, Rybeats. Totally awesome. Isn't that cool? Handwriting, tag work, or whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure Rybeats has had some practice out, <laughs> out doing some artwork, doing some street art. There we go. I was about to say, I was like, where's the... Uh, I know he had signed it somewhere. There we go. So he sent us a little something. Um, my guess is it's probably a pair of flip-flops. But that's just off the top of my head. I need I need new flip flops. <laughs> it, that and it's uh it's probably going to be something like uh, some scented candles, um, gift certificate to uh, for Shannon to get her nails done, you know that kind of stuff. The, these are all just these are all just guesses as to what's in here, but uh, we shall see. I'm hoping for a dog collar for Apollo. What if it's a new reel for a, a fishing rod? Oh, man, we can go catch some fish. We can, because uh, we do that all the time, don't we? Go take my dad fishing. We go, no. Rybeats, Rybeats is on. 
Oh, so Rye Beats, Rye Beats is here. Hey, dude. Um, I don't know if you just missed uh, what's been going on. Okay, so we we uh, we're gonna open this up on camera here. So Rye Beats. So I don't know if you just tuned in. We really appreciate this. Thanks so much. Again, it wasn't uh, we weren't expecting this, but cool. Some awesome uh, little tagging going on there. And uh, we'll see what's what's in the box. Shannon, do you want to come over here and do do us the honors? And do I look like Vanna White? Here, hold on. Let's uh, let's go you ahead. And, let's go ahead and get get. Uh... <laughs> why so? Why are you so shy? So shy, Shannon. Don't worry, Shannon. One of these days, we will we'll get you on and. Um, it, it's just going to, it's going to be a whole new ball game, Shannon, once you, once you get on. One hey, of these days. Yeah, just one of these days, we're going to break these chains, Shannon. Isn't that, that's a song. Why does that, why did that come up? And what is that song even about? Is it what? about, like, getting away from a bad relationship or something like that? What song? One of these days, I'm going to break these chains. I don't okay, know that song. Okay, cool, so... I feel like it's Christmas. I feel like I'm opening a Christmas present. Well, Robbie of, said there's tacos in there. In front of the family. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. So, hey, where'd you get these stickers from, Robbie? It's because that's pretty cool. So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to have to... I got the uh, stickers that I've been putting on the toolbox. I know you put yours on, on your dryer, but I like to put mine on my toolbox. So we I'm going to put that on the toolbox. We have shop gnome rules. And then on the I'm going to let Shannon figure out what she wants to put this on. Uh, maybe she can start decorating her cool coloring box with stickers. No. No? Okay. Her luggage did or something. I don't know. <laughs> she'll figure She'll figure something out. Either that or she'll end up putting it on, on the kid's hands or something like that. Go around repping oh, the, neat. the daily grind. Awesome. All right. We got ourselves some long sleeves. Woo. That's awesome. Cool, man. Yeah, like like I said before, this is uh, I never know which way to go with the camera here, but I, I really love this design. Your other design is really cool as well, but this is this is pretty cool, man. Great job on the print and everything. And then he's got his fresh vibes apparel tag heat press on the the inside. Very clean <laughs> job. I, I remember seeing him uh. In some of his videos, heat press these tags. I forgot where he got them from, but uh, man, they they always look nice. We'll have to let us know, right? Right beats where you got the these tags, because we might, if we don't screen print some tags on our shirts, that we end up doing heat pressing. Probably be a lot easier. It's the same shirt, honey. I know it's the same shirt. I just wanted to see what size it is. So, a couple of shirts. We <clears> really <throat> appreciate it. Uh, that means I have two shirts now. Not that Shannon won't wear it, but... I told Rybeats I'm a medium, but it turns out I'm actually a small, so... I, I tend to hog all, all the, the cool shirts that everybody yeah, sends really over does. to us. So that's what I mean by that. But cool, man. Thank you, Rybeats. I love it. I can't wait to wear Thanks, it. Thanks, dude. Just as soon as we have some time to do some of our own shirts, we'll send some out to y'all. Yeah. I, I'm just I, trying I, to get you to digitize a damn sheep. You know, I... I was like, just just before we got slammed with all this work, I was like, okay, now it's going to be a good time to to do this. But my my art projects are the the level's pretty high, and when I get stressed or, or get a lot of work, it's weird. I mean, it's not weird, but having uh, YouTube as as a platform because I really haven't been doing a whole lot of music stuff, and a lot of it's probably because i've been putting quite a bit of time into creating videos so uh yeah i mean it's a it's a good creative outlet not only that but it's uh it's very enjoyable it's something i'm like this this is something i enjoy doing and it's kind of a nice little break from work even though it's really still <laughs> involving work quite a bit but i don't know it's it's enjoyable and 
you, you can tell when when we're slammed with work because there will be a, a week or I think sometimes there have been about three weeks where I haven't uh, posted any videos and, and then I'm like, man, I, I feel bad. Um, not necessarily because I haven't posted videos. It's something I enjoy doing. And I don't know. Sometimes it's just hard to get around to it. But then there's times where it's like, I'm going to, I got stuff to upload daily. Okay, well. Anyhow. Print it to win it suggests getting me drunk so that I can get on camera. You don't uh, want right? drunk Shannon on camera. She'll be like a uh, drunken history. Up in <laughs> she, she won't. Uh, no, actually, that's a that's an awesome idea. We can have. Uh, Didn't you record me trying to do like? history when, when, I, when we were coming off uh, I, I did yeah <laughs> and I was like and it was set this up blah, blah 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 I think I actually gave a pretty accurate report and then I'm like listening yeah. back to it I was like oh shoot I forgot that part but anyways uh Rivate yeah. says drunken um, shop gnome drunken shop gnome <gasps> I mean the the beer is in the which way I need to point I mean there, there's a reason why the beer's there Shanny and it's Shannon and it's spilling, which is appropriate. Yes, very much. If only you guys knew. You can always tell where Shannon is around the shop or at the house. Just follow the trail of knocked over and spilled anything. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon got herself some cereal. It, it goes from the kitchen upstairs <laughs> to the bed. <laughs> and then you just hear crunch, crunch, crunch. Shit, half the time, I don't even... I don't even I have to look for her because uh, she she used to just come in the room eating cereal middle of the night because she got she got hungry and I'm like why out of all things you could eat it cereal or chips or something like that. Why? I also really like crackers. <laughs> it's always something crunchy and it just makes me want to take whatever it is you're eating and just throw it in the. Throw it in the garbage. Yeah, you've never mentioned that before. <laughs> <laughs> and but except you didn't say garbage. I'm gonna leave it up to your imagination what he actually used. Um. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what was said because it's probably uh, at boiling point of listening to someone crunch on stuff in the middle of the night. Anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> so, uh, Rybeats has um, <laughs> where he got his stuff from. The logos from stalls, the labels from FNM, and Jason says he makes transfers. That's what he does. Oh, really now? And everyone else is just laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason, email us, man. Info at Mikey Designs, and we... Uh... You know, there's times when the, the heat press labels come up. I mean, we screen print most of them. But for our, our, the sake of doing our own stuff, make it a little easier. Did not that, it, not that, that, that it's difficult. It's just it, instead of having to switch all the different sizes and all that. I, I think did, for just kind of one-offs, it would be easier. What's that? Did we talk about that last time? The, 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 the tags that we tried to do? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure that we did. Um, it was a nightmare. So we had an order, and a Champions brand shirt. He changed it from a Gildan. He did. So we had charged him to print some labels. I'm like, okay. They came in. I'm like, oh yeah. Okay, so <laughs> let him know. I'm like, dude. Depending on how these labels go, we may or may not be able to print on these so we use our um, vinyl lettering remover it, all it did was melt those labels because the whatever the champions champions uses on their shirts uh man that stuff's on there they don't they don't want that coming off and generally those things pull off you put a little on the on the back side of the uh the shirt opposite side of the, the graphic and pull it a little bit and then just kind of scrape it off. But these things just melted and they were a light kind of an ash heathered kind of a gray shirt. And 
the, the blue, like the ink from it was just running into the shirt. So we had to use the blowout gun on the ones we, we tried doing. And it, it took about five minutes per shirt and who knows how much blowout fluid oh removing my God. those things. And, and keep in mind, halfway, like, no, 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 not even halfway, mm-hmm. two shirts in, Matt has to leave. And so he's like, here, you do this, you put this on this, and then you blow it out like this, and he just leaves me with these shirts. And all of a sudden, there's all this blue just coming through the shirt, and I am having like an absolute panic attack. It. I'm just like, I can't do this, I can't do this. I, I, I almost I'm started to shirt. cry because I was like, I was, like, like, I was not- freaking out so badly. And then like four shirts in, I'm like, I'm texting Matt. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. You know what? Fuck, you forgot your phone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did forget my phone, didn't I? So I'm, like, texting, and there's no response, and I'm, like, crying at this point because I I feel like I'm ruining, like, all these shirts that are, like, going to be stupid, expensive to replace that we've already printed on, (laughs) and the screens were taken down. (laughs) They, They ended up coming fine, coming out fine after lots of blowing out, and we just ended up telling our client that, uh, hey, um... It's not happening. Not happening. Sorry, we can we can apply that credit towards next order, or we can well do your next order because uh, he he had a balance anyway, so it, it evened out. And we found a good compromise for the like, the order he's working on now is still is also champions, but instead of the right. tag print, what he wants is the like a neck print. Yeah, like that. <laughs> as i hit the microphone yeah <laughs> so, yeah, so it, it's a happy compromise and shannon's not gonna be crying yeah and, and that's that's actually pretty cool i i think that's a cool little style having the um brand logo just kind of like at, at the does ne- that too neckline. right jonathan yeah he does he does because uh it, it i mean i don't know the reasonings as to why Jonathan put it there, but <clears throat> I, I don't know. I think it's a cool look. I think well, it's a, pretty it's a cool, cool look. look for guys. Girls, unless, you know, they got the pixie cut, you're not going to notice it. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah. But I think, well. it's a, I think it's a cool look, too. It's just, you know, for me, the effect is lost when I wear it because... I always wear my hair down and it's going to cover it. Right. And you know, that that's something that's a a good point that Shannon's bringing up is a a lot of times, but let's say for instance, you get an order that is for females, a a shirt and there's a print going on back. Keep in mind that a lot of the girls will be wearing their hair down. We'll cover that up. So you might want to talk to them about that and say, Hey, um, we can put this graphic a little lower than we normally would. Not necessarily all the way in the middle of the back, but just to, you know, they'll, they'll appreciate that. Appreciate the, the consideration of, hey, uh, the, yeah. are you okay with, with your hair covering up this graphic? Yeah, if, uh, make sure that, like, you know, it's something that they, if they want it to be seen, it needs to be a little bit lower and just bring it to their attention that it would be lower than what it normally would be and you should be golden. Yeah, because there's, there's been bachelorette parties where it's like a graphic's gone on the back and I'll just let them know, hey, what do you think about putting the graphic a little lower so that way it's not covered up. Kind of... Kind of the same concept like with the, a hoodie. You know, you want to put the graphic a little lower so that way the, the hood doesn't cover it up completely. Sorry, I was just thinking about that hoodie You're, that we did. The uh, JH? No. Which hoodie? Um, For Lucky. Oh, my name's Lucky. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, there, every time I hear Lucky's name... <laughs> It's so it, it's her it's her nickname obviously, and it makes me think of uh that that movie Menace to Society. God, what where was her like, girlfriend's name? I forgot. It was actually really cool though. Like Star? No. It was something like that. I don't know. It was like some really cool nickname. But she comes in Champagne? here. Champagne. No. 
she comes in here and like she's like talking through, through a toothpick. And she was tiny. She was so little and she was so cute. And I'm just like, aw. But now uh, Maxie's gone, my name's Lucky. And I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> But no, but I was what? thinking about like I, I was thinking about like... the hood on that one because that was before? a really cool thing that we did the print because it it went it wrapped around oh, yeah, the hood yeah. the, the the print went uh, around the the hood itself just kind of uh, around the tops that way while they're wearing it um, I, I forget which direction we put it on I think my suggestion was we should put it right reading while the the hoodie's down because I don't know she is pretty short so. You know, there, people can still read that on top of her head if it's meant to be reading from uh, someone looking at them. But, I'm still trying to figure out that girl's name. <laughs> yeah, and, I don't know. I forgot. Okay, so we have straight. I don't know. How, okay, straight CLPN. He's a new subscriber and just started getting screen printing. Um, he oh, likes hey, our videos up? in contact. Welcome. Thanks for subscribing. Hi, we Mark. Appreciate it. Rybeats, I feel like you always put my name in caps. <laughs> <laughs> He's shouting at you. Dr. Ah. Horror. Um, hola. <laughs> Viva la hola, algorithm. Viva. Viva, Viva the algorithm. Yes, Viva Al whatever. Algorithm. I don't, you know, I, I speak some Spanish. I'm not even sure. What yeah, that ask means. me how he knows Spanish. I dated a girl for, well, okay, so <laughs> I, I worked at James Coney Island, which is this hot dog stand. It's not a stand, it's a franchise, almost like a Taco Bell or a Burger King would be, but they sell hot dogs. And uh, I, I le a, started learning Spanish because a lot of the employees there and i eventually managed the thing later on when i started going to college worked there for six years from the time i turned 15 up until the time i graduated from college and so i i picked up a lot of spanish and so a lot of my spanish is fairly simple but i knew a lot about like all the terminologies when it came to that restaurant um and i i met a, a girl there that i dated for a couple of years from the time I was about 16 to 18 and she didn't speak a lick of English. She was from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what about it? <laughs> and it was interesting because uh, it was a lot easier to tune her out because I didn't know. I didn't have to really concentrate to tune her out. It's just like, I didn't know the, uh, everything she was saying. And eventually she started learning English and I was like, I got to get out of here <laughs> because now she knows English and she can just fill my ear up with whatever it is she doesn't like at the moment. Do I fill your ear up? Actually, no. Um, you know what? You do a perfect job of ignoring me. I don't case know what you're talking about. Case in point today. What? <laughs> case in point today. Huh? What happened? You're not funny. What happened? You're not funny. <laughs> what was the what was the what's the case in point of today? What what Oh, happened? when I was asking you about the list thing. Oh, well, I'm trying to get some design work done. Yeah, and I was but I actually said this this and this and you're like, "Okay, yeah, sounds good." And I was like, "What do you think?" I don't know. I wasn't uh -huh, listening. Yeah. Hey, I was honest. I was like, "I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't listening because I was trying to pay attention to what I'm doing over here. And this stuff needs to be done now." Sorry, okay. Shannon. I don't mean to tune you out, but sometimes, sometimes I stop just, talking mid sentence to you see if you pay attention. Know, you, you just gotta sometimes let me do my thing. You gotta let me get some artwork done, or I'll be in the middle of completing a sentence in an email, and Shannon will will be trying to tell me something, and I'm like, I, I either a, I got two options, a, I can tune her out and just say uh huh and keep finishing what i'm doing he's been choosing can... that option a lot lately what does that say then <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I, I think you i mean it's obviously you love to talk and sometimes i just don't have time to talk and i i don't want to tell you um sorry we can't talk right now i'm just gonna be like which is which is which is less hurtful 
me to tune you out and say, "Uh uh-huh. Or to just be like, Hey, don't, I I can't, not right now. Actually, the second one is, yeah, that would be good. Not right now. Yeah. You would like that better. Yeah. Then like feeling like. Not right now, Shannon. I'm doing something. <laughs> I need something to throw. <laughs> <laughs> that seems see that seemed like it hurt a lot more <laughs> versus versus me just ignoring you because I could have totally just ignored you right now and you wouldn't have noticed. Yeah. I'll cho- Anyways, I'll let's choose, go back to screen printing I'll, talk. I'll choose whichever works best for me. <laughs> let's go. Let's go back to screen printing talk. You dick. What well, mama don't know don't hurt. Okay, uh, so anyways. Rybeats <laughs> wants to know what's going on with the Facebook group. Um, uh, so does yes. Indigenous and Print It to Win It says just learn the important words. Cerveza, culo, coochie, coochie, sexo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what? That that doesn't get you. That'll get you a good slapping or a dirty look, <laughs> or you might get lucky. Or a sexual after. harassment charge. That or you might get lucky after the hundredth time of saying that. <laughs> and in that case, you probably it's not probably the uh, the girl you don't want to get lucky with. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So the the Facebook group. Okay. So could you, could you sex? that's a great segue into the Facebook group. Let's. Um, okay. So mm-hmm. finally created a, a Facebook group. The thing that had been holding it back the whole time was names that were kicking around and I was just, I, I took y'all's feedback and, and just made it something simple. So it, it's shop talk, screen printing, Q and a and, uh, news shop. Fuck. Yeah. Just, just type in, that. just type in shop talk, screen printing, Q and a, and it will, will pull up. And so go over and, and join the, the Facebook group. Uh, if you guys, if any of you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to leave them there. Uh, we, we do our best to answer everybody's questions. And also, with it being a group, uh, I'd really appreciate it if, if y'all chimed in as well to try and help out some of these um, screen printers that either are new getting into screen printing or someone that's, been screen printing for some time and, and have some questions about perhaps some more advanced stuff. Yeah. It's so kinda... I know you guys know your, your thing. I, I'm not going to be able to answer every single question. Don't get me wrong. I wish I could. It's, it's kind of like, you know, the, what happens here on the live, you know, a lot of times you'll be answering a question and a lot of people will be chiming in to help said question. Right. So it's just everybody helping everybody. I mean, we're a small knit community. There's not a lot of people out there that do what we do versus, you know, other occupations, oh, yeah. careers. <clears throat> and we we try to help each other out. Not only that. I mean, the, the screen printing community in general are, the doors are open compared to other industries where it's like they don't want to share anything. Uh, and I, th- I think a lot of that just has to, it just goes to show the, the kind of people that are in this industry. And not only that, um, that it's not just something anyone can just dive into without commitment and really trying to hone in their craft. So, Well, I um, <clears throat> actually am going to have to disagree with you a little bit. Oh, before before uh, you go you go there, just just hold that thought. Also, um, if you have any news, like any shop news or anything like that, you get any new equipment or a large order, let us know as as well. Share that, and and uh, we can uh, everybody will be able to see it, and we'll also share it here uh, live as well. Okay, well, because I I know there's been requests. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I know again. there's been requests. <laughs> Of uh, while we're doing uh, the the live show, that uh, they want to be able to kind of show off whatever they got going on, because I'm sure you guys are proud. So, anyways, that that will allow us to do that. So there, Shannon. I've forgotten what I was gonna say. Um, sorry about that. You want me to to go back? Uh, no, to- no, I remember. Um, I I wanted to 
just point out though, I kind of disagree with you on that just because it's like the screen printer community. I feel like the feedback we're getting is from the YouTube screen printing community. And so like, you know, they're more open and more, I don't know, they share more, they're okay with that more. And because I remember there was one person that we I gave advice to, like I was writing, like, and I just listed out exactly like how to do it, like for pricing and stuff like that. He right. was like, that's amazing that you would actually tell me this stuff. Because yeah. I, I, I do believe that just like in any other business, there are going to be people that are going to hoard their own secrets and their techniques. But at the on the YouTube community, I believe that everything is like a lot more open and flowing. And that's where we need to be looking for other people to be chiming in on the new page. That's all. Right. Yeah. And I, I see where you're coming from. The, some of the, also, I'll say that some, from my experience, even with people, shop owners, screen printers that aren't on YouTube, like for instance, uh, I'm not going to put any names out there, <laughs> but they, they, uh, l let's say, okay, I'm trying to think of how, how to word this. Going to their shop, they were very friendly in explaining. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, when talking about how long ago it was that they, they were doing it manually. I was talking about, at that time, doing the automatic thing. And they were more than happy to share their experience, talk about what presses they have, what what to look out for, where to, to find an automatic. There was just like all kinds of little things and, and we would talk about, uh, they would share their experiences as, as vets. This company having been around for 30 or so years, they were happy to share. And then, and then there's uh, Albert, the guy I bought my press from. He's like, yeah, I'll tell you anything and everything. The only well, thing I won't share with you are my clients. And then, then one more, uh, <clears throat> uh, Carlos, his name's Carlos over at, uh, Ug ugly guppy. And he, he has a, an auto, he has a shop and an automatic and all that. And he got has employees. He, he bought, uh, a shirt from us and, we talked. He's he like, did? he's like, yeah, you're more than welcome to swing by the shop anytime. And and uh, he's like, y you can ask me questions, and then there's things I want to pick your brain about. Well, okay, but it's a little different but when it's face to face. I mean, they're eighty percent more, right. you know, amiable than they would be like than they can be through the anonymity of you know the internet. So, like, if you actually right. look a person in the eye and say, hey, can you give me some advice? They're way more likely to, you know, respond to that than, you know, the internet just going, mine, mine, mine. I'll, I'll say with, with Carlos, I would never met him. I have been familiar with this company because he's uh, one of the companies I've kind of watched and followed as they've grown and never met him once. And I don't think he's familiar with the YouTube channel and he, he just was well, like, yeah, and, he's like swing on by and guys don't get me wrong. Like I'm not taking like a cynical view on the whole thing. I think like for the most part, you know, we're all artists and in it for the big, you know, in push it to win it. in it. Yeah. We're all in it to win it and we want to help each other out. I just think I was just disagreeing with him a little bit on the fact that everybody's going to want to help each other out. But I I, be, I do believe that the majority is all there to make sure that we can all be better. Shannon's run for president. Vote for Shannon. I can't run for president. <laughs> Why? You're an American citizen. That's not the only qualification. There's no... I, I, that's... that's... <sighs> Pretty I have much. enough damning evidence of me and my background that I would be so, 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 just blitz. <laughs> You'll be fine. And also, screw politics. Yeah, let's not even get into that. On to uh, <laughs> something else. 
Um, so yeah, guys, uh, Facebook group is up. Just <laughs> look for Shop Talk, um, Screen Printing Q and A, and news. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me go ahead and um, I'm gonna go over to the Facebook group real quick, and then I'll uh, I'll shoot you guys a link. Also, I'll put it in the uh, description of this video afterwards. I was kind of rushing to get all set up, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll I'll do that real quick. And yeah, we were on the phone with Indigenous like as we're setting up. <laughs> Yeah, we we got the no that that was really cool. It's it's always cool to to talk to you guys, uh, hear you over the phone or whenever we do get a chance to to meet you guys. And Roy Bates, I'm still so sad that that you know dual video thing didn't yeah, work. Yeah, uh, man, I, I it it's a combination of things. It's a computer <clears throat> and then our connection, and I don't see. Uh, I'm not getting a new computer anytime soon, but I don't know. I, we can do it over, over the phone. Uh, I was thinking about the, doing that. Rybeats the only person that's seen me through the computer. Through the computer, yes, this is true. <laughs> Orange up, Star, or met you in person. Yeah. Orange Star. I, Orange I never Star came when meet. I was like trying to take a nap and then like half playing with the puppy and I'm like lying on the food and he opens the door because I didn't realize it was it was unlocked and I'm just like <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> no makeup my hair's a mess and I'm just and I'm like half awake and I'm just going are you hand in my hat <laughs> yeah he's like are you the shop member? I was like shit he found me <laughs> uh print it to win it yeah uh... I I would, however, I'm just not a fan of PCs. I've I've built PCs before in the past. I'm just not a fan of um, Microsoft operating system, and it's from my experience being a, a Mac user and having gone to art school. Uh, so learn. I, I know both platforms really well. The, the thing is about PCs is just keeping up with all the updates and the antivirus. Like on a Macintosh, you don't even have to have an antivirus. It's not to say that um, you can't get hacked some way, but the, the amount of issues and security issues I've had with PCs in the past versus a Macintosh. I, I'd say with the Macintosh, I've had two two incidences versus hundreds on a PC. Well, I, I had a PC before um, early 2000s, built one, I, I bought one, um, learned, learned how to build them up with this machine, just kind of put, basically used the case to, to create my own. And eventually I, I got tired of reformatting the thing because all the viruses that would just come in and having to buy software to, you can buy like five different pieces of software for a PC and somehow you still manage to get, get something, some sort of malware or something like that. It slows your computer down and, and all that. And, um, I don't know. I, I'm not going to go on and on about well, PC, but well, to be that, and, and it's, it's funky. It's funky the way the, the keyboard commands are on it because you have to use that control and so you're like doing these really long reaches and I'm just not a fan of the operating system. First off, I'm an Apple whore. Everything I have is Apple. And to be fair though, our PayPal account was hacked this How, year. However, that but, was visiting. But that's most likely, most likely, we never found proof, but it was most likely from me going to illegal websites to watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> yes, she was watching quite a bit of free Game of Thrones, and I was just like, okay. okay. And it, I couldn't say anything because we were watching, I'm not going to say anything, we were, we were watching some things online that was like, hey, instead of renting this, let's watch this. Yeah, we were doing that for a and while. That, so maybe it wasn't me. I'm just saying it's most likely, but not like completely certain. We're asking for it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying that, you know, we can't point the blame at anybody because <laughs> we don't know. 
Yeah. Anyway, so that's like our so thing, we, and we just like Max. <laughs> uh, our computer would have been dead if we had a PC doing all that. I have since stopped doing that because of that, because we got a thousand dollars taken from us, which was reimbursed bursted by uh, PayPal. Don't get me wrong, but the the hassle of having to cancel that card and call them over and over and over. Oh, and to they get kept they kept trying. They kept they putting kept, new emails. They in. they had the the email and information and like the last they they kept calling in saying they were me. And so I had to change up a bunch of information to keep them from because I'm sure at that point it was out on the market and somebody in Atlanta made some some withdrawals at an ATM and some purchases at Kroger's. Didn't and, we get like a like security footage of it or something too? No, we didn't dig uh, that deep into it because it uh, didn't really. No, we we tried content. They're like you have to call, you have to file a police report, and then you have to go, um, you have to have them transfer that report over to Atlanta or wherever it was at, and it was that much of a hassle towards where it was like, uh, you know, if we hadn't got that money back, I, I would have pursued it because mm. that was irritating. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. So anyway, screen printing, you have anything more to talk about screen printing? Cause I feel like this is, you know, that, that, um, YouTube page you watch with like that really boring girl and the guy. What now? The really boring girl and the guy. I feel like this is turning into that for this um, this episode. That's not boring. They're not boring. They're interesting. She's boring. He's interesting. H three H three Productions. They're they're cool. She's boring. I like them. I don't think she's boring. Well, it's nice that we have different things that we like. H three H three Productions. If you want to have me on your YouTube as a guest and not invite Shannon. <laughs> That is cool with me. We can be on the other end going ha. She doesn't like to be on film anyway, so it wouldn't work. And if you ever watch this, I apologize for calling you boring. <laughs> she's they're not boring. She she's not boring. I don't think she's boring. I think they're interesting. Well, all I'm saying though is I feel like this episode is becoming kind of like, you know, them just like going back and forth. I I don't I just think you don't really realize that until I showed you them. And I kind of caught on to them just because I was like looking at some post Malone videos or something because I was just kind of curious about a story. And they had they're like best buds. And uh, I was like, you know, this guy is pretty funny. They they do some pretty funny videos and and they have a few channels where they have millions of subscribers. So I was like, you know, I was kind of figuring out what their their secret sauce is like what what their sauce is what makes them appealing to that's the actually masses what, that's actually something he's been doing a lot lately he's been researching other youtube channels like for you know what i've been is doing clicking that. with the community well you've been doing it a lot more lately i've been i, I think you you just are kind of catching on because well i woke up to one and i was like i wake up and i see this guy Ugh. No, I, I've been doing that since day one. I, I'm just, um, you know, because I'll, I'll say this, but like um, putting in the, the amount of time that's, that's put into the videos is, is quite a bit. It, even if things stay the way they are, I'm going to be happy with it. Uh, I, I know, and just kind of looking around, I, I know that having a screen printing YouTube channel, um, I don't ever really see it reaching millions, maybe a little over a hundred thousand, but even reaching over a hundred K is, is pretty tough. You kind of have to have some viral videos and, uh, you know, people got to want to keep coming back to see what you're doing type of situation. Like I'll, I'll say like, uh, Reyes, for instance, he's had a couple viral videos and he's had quite a bit of his videos that, um, have had a lot of views and it had to do with screen printing, but you know, it's, it's his own personal story that really connects to people. And there, there really isn't like a, Hey, here's 
there, there are some personal story things. I mean, aside from the dynamics with Shannon and I giving away, um, you know, what's going on in our personal life, but I don't know. So part of me was just kind of like, what are these people doing that perhaps I'm not necessarily willing to do or what, what is working for them? I don't know. I, I think that, um, putting videos up like funny videos and, and all that stuff. Just that's not the reason why a lot of people have subscribed to this channel, but is it worth changing up the content that much so that, uh, it's not really a lot of information. It's just more entertainment than anything to get more subs. I, I, and it's, to me, it's not about subs. Although it would be nice to, um, for, for the, the channel essentially to pay out the time that's put into these videos. They, well, we right beats can tell you, right beats can tell you it, it takes a lot of, a lot of time putting these videos together and it's, it's, we do it because we love it. And, uh, to, to be able to make a nice little paycheck from putting videos up. It'd, it'd be nice, but it's not, you know, there's no formula. There's no secret that someone can tell you as to how to, how to make a YouTube channel grow. It, it either is going to happen or, or not. I mean, there's, there's some things you can do. There, don't get me wrong, your, your titles, your tags, your description, your content, the person on the other end of the camera, you know, what what viewers think about the, the personalities. So, I don't know. I, I always, yeah, I mean, it's rather than watching TV, I get on YouTube and I <laughs> see what everybody's up to and then... I play video games. Shannon plays video games. It, her, that's just her thing and this is just... Something I like to do. Okay, so it is 7.57, and we have our first question. We didn't have questions before? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Hit me with it, I was about to Shannon. yell at everybody. I was be like, dudes, no one asked us anything. Yeah, well, you know. It's... All right, so I have, uh, we have a question. Make it snappy because mm -hmm. I want to eat, and I would like to run a couple of errands before it turns 9 o'clock. Okay. Um, Hit me, Shannon. Indigenous wants to know how many Again. screens do we have in stock? As much as you do, you must have at least 300. He's slowly building his up due to the designs he will be doing for reprints. We have 70 screens to be exact. 70. Not 300. No, we, we don't even have room for 300. I mean, we could build a shelf on the wall, don't get me wrong, but... Um, yeah, it's, uh, there's about 20 that fit in the cabinet and then another 50 that fit onto uh, the underneath the two tables that we have out there. We have a, I mean, you guys have seen in the videos, one of the tables we kind of use as our ink station, then the other um, has an exposure unit on top of it. Each one of those holds about 25 screens each. So it's, it's 50 of them. I mean, 70, excuse me. 70 total. He washes out a lot of screens. It's also the main reason we hired that um, our part timer. <laughs> yeah, that that definitely helped quite a bit. We're and back in soon. yeah, yeah. So we we've been kind of slammed with orders here lately, and slow season's over. <laughs> no more video it, games for Shannon. Yeah, it, it seems like it's it's over now. Which is, is great. We have a, an order for 500 plus shirts, another for uh, 350 we're about to close the deal on. We have another for 150 that's in the bag. We have another that's... Uh, we, we've got a few of them that are like low 100s and then a bunch of kind of 36ers. So we got quite a bit do and promotional product stuff, embroidery, promotional product. Got some magnets and yard signs, um, business cards you got to do, logo design, flyer. What else? A few embroidery jobs that we're doing. 
Mm. I don't know. My head hurts. Yeah. Well, I start thinking about everything we have to do, and it's, uh, it can be stressful, so we try to take it one thing at a time. Okay, so Print It to Win It wants to know about um, Illustrator. Is it only subscription? You can't just buy a copy? You can buy an older copy, but you you will have to have a uh, a drive. Yeah, it's subscription only. Every that's what everybody's doing now. Subscription, rather than buying the software outright. And I, I think what that does is it, is it allows more people to be able to get the software without committing to it entirely. Okay, and um. Indigenous is mm -hmm. very incredulous. He was like, damn, seriously? Or really? What's that? There's 70 of them? Yeah. And uh, B3 screen printing, <laughs> um, do we cold email at all? Um, B3, we've toyed with the idea. I actually keep a current list of all our clients' emails like stored safely. That's... I actually tried to do a promotional. I, I wrote the copy. It's MailChimp, and... though. Yeah, well, it's still like a stored list of all the email addresses. But cold emailing <clears throat> is like new email oh, phone we've never gotcha, dealt gotcha. with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we don't do that. And I've done it before I've... with no results whatsoever. I, I think I've out of probably about 300 emails, I got one reply back that was someone was like, yeah, you know, if something comes up, we'll we'll, we'll let you know if we're interested. It's not... You're going to spend a lot more time doing that versus if you were to put out like a Google ad or something like that. Because uh, time is money. So if you're to put out like a uh, AdWords ad, you're going to be targeting people that are interested, that are currently interested versus shooting the email out to any and everyone not knowing whether they even give a crap about ordering shirts or whatever it may be. And, you know, I've been in sales. I was in sales for a pretty long time. And so I can, like, say from both ends of the stick. Like, it's kind of like when we get those um, those uh, digitizing people calling us. Yeah. And I'm, I'm always telling you, be nice. Because, trust me, they hate their job as much as you hate answering their call. And it's kind of like one of those things like, you know, like cold calling sucks. No one likes it. I have been screamed at on the phone more times than I can count with zero results. And honestly, I could never understand the whole cold calling process just or email process because if it were happening to me, I wouldn't appreciate it. Yeah. And so people are like, you know, call, call, just call and be annoying, be annoying. I'm like, I don't want to be annoying because... I, what if you're that person? I, I'm not mean to every single cold calling salesperson that's trying to sell embroidery. I was like, I'll tell them that we, we do it in house and all that. <laughs> Matt and always knows when I get a call. <laughs> uh, uh, at, at a point, there's like, like enough's enough and... I'll just hang up for the most part. I'll hang up. And if that person's persistent after I've hung up on them a couple times, then yeah, I'll get a little irritated and tell them to stop calling. We're not interested. And to stop calling. I'm Take just, us off your list. I just respond like, you know, with, you know, the say you always know when it's me getting one of those calls because you just hear me go, Mikey Designs. Hi, John. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. that tone and like the only times that i actually get like slightly irritated is when they say give me your email or no just listen that that pissed me off today i was like no no you listen <laughs> matt was in the other matt was in the shop and he heard me like on the phone with this guy and he comes back in and he's like is everything okay i'm like yeah just I guess aggressive. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to go down and and read some of these. There are some uh questions that are popping up and then uh just read off some of these things that before we take off um or, or Shannon, do you want to handle that and then we'll we'll get going. We're going to answer a few more of these questions and then 
we're gonna we're gonna take off because it's 804 now and we're I'm hungry and and the liquor store closes at nine so does the vape shop and, and we Shannon, are out Shannon needs a refill <laughs> she needs to top her cup off um okay so indigenous is asking um well uproar says aren't you glad you have an auto now yes sort of <laughs> Shannon says sort of, but I, I think she just uh, didn't realize just how much I bitch and complain about not things not going smoothly in the sense that um, it doesn't matter if it's a manual, an automatic, or if I'm sitting behind the screen designing something. And I, I was just talking to Indigenous about this. I was like, man, I'll, I'll get frustrated because I'm expect something to go one way it doesn't go that way and i'll get frustrated and i know there's a lot of people that can just kind of be like put it off later and come back for me i'm like i just at that point i'm like determined and have this drive to find a solution to whatever problem it is that's bugging me yeah but you're you're pissed off at the same time so you're dicking it up because you're not like focusing on the right things not necessarily, not always. It depends on on how irritated I am. But yeah, perhaps taking a break would be good. Uh, so, thanks, uh, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> have you looked? Indigenous asks, have you looked for organizations that pay people to get work experience so the labor is free for you? Like colleges? Uh, I have tried intern, like uh, an intern, but they kind of flipped it around. Or like, hey. Um, we kind of need it to be some sort of pay for the intern. So kind of put that on the back burner. Um, but no, I mean, if, if you have any, um, leads or suggestions that that would be helpful. We got a call the other day. From howdy, howdy y'all. What's up, R? Uh, indigenous asks or stating the tribe here offers to send tribal members my way to get, uh, my way to get work to get work experience and pay them for up to one year, which means I don't have to pay for labor for one year. And that's awesome. I, I wish we, uh, we had some sort of, uh, setup like that. That's, uh, you're lucky man. I'm going to get that DNA test. Make sure I'm, you know what? I'm, I might be missing out on not only <laughs> some benefits. You guys can't see it, but I'm rolling my eyes. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm not that kind of person that's like, I'm going to see what kind of benefits I have based off of what blood I have running through my veins. I like to work hard for uh, what I got. Uh, although a little help, to, you know, I, I don't mind a little help every now and then. Well, um, well uh, to be fair, what is it listed on your birth certificate? Uh, my birth certificate says Negroid. <laughs> so I need to look into uh, whether or not there's like anything... Uh, the government's kicking out for that. Um, anyhow, um, do you guys do embroidery in house? Tommy S is asking. Tommy S is, is Tommy S the t-shirt order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, we we actually we don't do the embroidery in house. Uh, it is we contract it to a sister facility. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wish we could fit the equipment here in the shop to to do the embroidery in house, but it's it's not in house. Uh Rye Beats one on one is here. One on one. I had a t shirt that was uh I said one on one. I missed that t shirt. I lost it. It disappeared. Let's see. Shannon, do you want to read some of these off? I think we're about to... Uh... Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. Um, apparently, every screen print shop does embroidery slash sublimation slash banners in-house. Yes. Well, what we say to our clients, though, is we, uh, we have it done through... If they really press it, you know, normally we're just like, yeah, we could do the embroidery. Yeah, and they don't ask <clears throat> questions, and it's sometimes they do, but when they do, it, like the term is just we uh, use our sister company or sister yeah. facility, something so, like that. Yeah, the the um, embroidery in and then promotional products and all that. That's something that we get for 
um, contract pricing because we have vendors that that we're set up with and we send that so much kicked, business yeah we we kick enough business over that they uh, they essentially give us contract pricing which you guys know is basically it's almost just like busy work we're we're doing all the 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 footwork taking the order uh doing all the proofing and everything like that anything that needs to be handled when it comes to our clients and then they're just doing the the uh, uh decorating there we go the the decorating of the apparel and we're actually contract screen printers ourselves we have clients that send us work and we charge them contract pricing they're able to charge their pricing and they end up providing us with the shirts we print them for a fee they come and pick them up i'm done but it's also it's one of those things that it's just like with the people that we contract out with with asg like it um they are people that have habitually come to us time and time again before we take them on as contract pricing like we can't just if it's like you know because a lot of times it's not like these big companies and stuff it's you know people like right uh this pta mom that sends us sends us all her stuff we do contract pricing with her because she's come to us probably, I don't know, 15 times this last year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, she's swung. Yeah, it's, and it's stuff like that. Like, you know, like you can't immediately <clears throat> offer contract pricing if it's like, you know, like someone personal or privatized. Oh, no. Uh, uh, the, the start with, uh, it was regular price, you know. And then she's like, I work in the industry and I know what the pricing of, of everything is. And it was just kind of like, okay, yeah. Well, we got to make a living, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, she, like, the first time I sent her an invoice, when I started getting into it, she's like, why are you charging me, like, an upcharge on the shirts? I was like, shit. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> well, it, you know, however you want to look at it. I mean, we have our, our way of pricing things out. R regardless, she is basically, that's what she was wanting. She's wanting contract pricing which that's what she has now because she swings a lot of work our way. And, <laughs> and, and, also, she, she, and also she's a, uh, she's just a force to be she's, reckoned she's with. She's a hoot. She's, she's awesome. We, we enjoy working with her. Uh, it, it's she's it's amazing. funny because it, it's just like with you guys, you know, when you're, you're in the, the industry, you can kind of shoot the shit and, um, she has like four adopted kids or something. Yeah. And she, she can come over and we'll, we'll talk, for an, an hour at least. And, and I have to get the subtle, we, subtle tug on Matt's show, uh, sleeve. No, no. A lot of times it's with you too. Yeah. So she's it, just so much fun. So, yeah. Uh, so for, for us, it, it, it goes both way. We, we contract out. Um, we, we have people that does contract work for us for stuff that we can't do in house. And, and a lot of that is, and, and we still even manage to, to give people better prices than, uh, even if we had, you know, even if they're to go to someone else entirely. So it, being able to offer that a, we, we make, it's pretty much like a commission doing it that way. And then, uh, you know, it allows People that to, to, to come to us and not have to, to go to different places. Takes out the middleman. Um, yes. So, Liberty says he hasn't heard that term. Like, he's talking to me. Uh, Liberty hasn't heard the term since he worked in construction. I'm not sure what term that is, but you know what? I'm old school and classy. Um, Rybeats is laughing at you for the birth certificate. Um, oh. <laughs> he, and he also wants to know about uh, more info on the subscription box thing. We're okay. And so a quick update: we're we're working on it. Uh, we're we're digitizing it, and we're we're working on getting that all set up. That where? that I am not lying. I've got your artwork over here, Shannon, and I've already started working on the page. Okay. So yes, it is in the works. Getting the the there's a lot of little side projects that I've been working on. That's one of them. Um, 
the uh, I've kind of modified the template as I've said before, so it's a little better. I've been thinking about offering an actual print with that. I've got a uh, a template um, that I'm going to put up that you can put your own branding into, and it's not only for an art approval that has uh, disclaimer information in it, but uh, all your colors and everything, and then it also has a screen printing checklist on it. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to put that up. We'll we'll see how that does, what the uh, demand is for that. And then, of course, we got the the subscription thing, which we're we're working on. So, a lot of a lot of little projects. Okay, I have three more comments to read off. You have two minutes, and okay. then I want to get the duck out of here. Okay. Where, okay. Where are they? So the Print Hub uh, says the shop is actually a wholesale screen printing company. We offer wholesale printing to everyone, <laughs> and everyone hates them because the prices are too low. And welcome, Karen, and welcome, Eddie. And... What's up, guys? Yeah, um, I, I can see why it, it would be that um, there's not as much love being shown. And the, the industry kind of looks at it like it's lowering the prices and making what we're doing. Um, not something that's valued as much as it should be. It's custom. But you know what? If if it's contract, the way I look at it, it's contract pricing. Someone sending you orders to do, and uh, to me, the the way I look at it is as long as we're making enough money per hour doing any contract work to pay ourselves a salary with some profit, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I don't think that means you should go around offering that to the general public and to everybody, but that's not what y'all do. I mean, we don't, we don't even do that. Uh, you know, that's, you, you do that cause then you're dealing directly with the person that wants a shirt and you know, eventually those prices aren't high enough to cover the amount of time that would go into spending time with all those people. So, Anyhow, well, guys, we're going to get out of here. It is uh, 17 past the cutoff time we were, uh, we generally shoot for because we enjoy hanging out, but we also enjoy eating, and Shannon enjoys wetting her whistle, so we are going to get out of here, but Shannon is going to leave you with a little bit of a dad joke. No, I'm not doing a dad joke. Today. You're not doing a ja dad joke? No, I'm doing a fun fact I learned today. Oh, okay. No dad joke. It's a, a fun fact. That's the fun fact. Is that it's not a dad joke? It's a fun fact. Is that it? Now it's a twofer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to let go, uh, Shannon go ahead. And so I learned this today. Armadillos are bulletproof. In fact, there's like actually a case where a guy shot an armadillo and it ricocheted off the armadillo and hit him back in the face. Is, is that even with a fifty caliber? It didn't specify. <laughs> elephant gun. How do they handle a? The I don't know. It's just they're bulletproof. Okay, armadillos are bulletproof. Okay, so <laughs> keep an eye out for my next video. It's going to involve about five different armadillo and guns. Until next time, guys. We'll we'll see you. We'll see armadillos you carry leprosy. <laughs> we'll see you. Just they saying. carry what? Leprosy. Yeah, they do. See, so. Hey, you know, I'd be doing everybody a favor. Just playing. I'm not going to do that. But uh, <laughs> we're going to get out of here, guys. It's been fun. Bye, guys. Hearts. <laughs>